about 1,800 square feet. It's our Montreal Pied-à-Terre. And we basically bought a box. We took the box, gutted it, and made it our personal little space in Montreal. We wanted the space to be modern and light. So you'll see that we have antiques, but they're almost presented like you would art and sculpture. And it's mixed with very contemporary art. The whole thing was kind of like living in a small little art gallery special space downtown. Without it being too stiff, we want our friends to be able to come over, hang out, enjoy. But you know, we really wanted to sort of have all our nice pieces around us. And so basically when we moved here, besides making new sofas, most of the pieces we already had. I took down the walls of the kitchen. We wanted an open kitchen in this space. I did not put up our cabinets. I didn't want it to look very kitcheny. So you'll see these tall columns of cabinets. When you open them, they have pullouts. They store lots of things. But the wall behind the stove is really not just practical because it's a piece of marble, but it's like a piece of art in the space. I found this one marble with that beautiful little gold line through it, which then, of course, I had to take that big brass bowl and put on the counter, which kind of pulls it all together harmoniously. And then we created the living room that has windows along one side, along the front, and we created this big L-shaped room. So it actually makes the space feel much larger than it actually is. We chose this light herringbone floor actually after staying at the Baccarat Hotel in New York. Sometimes people are like, well, you know, I love modern spaces, but I find them kind of cold. Well, it's quite easy. When you're doing a modern space, just think about the materials you use, because the warmth of the floor and the kind of old world aspect of the floor creates a little sense of history or a little sense of something a bit more warm and comforting. Our TV lounge creates another little sort of sitting area off the room. The other thing that you'll notice, there's two televisions and both the televisions are against black. Like in the kitchen, we did that tall black ebonized wood bookcase. So when the TV's off, it's not like you have this big empty black thing sitting on the wall. We have two bathrooms, which is a nice luxury and it's also great for two busy people. One bathroom is very contemporary, but you'll notice there's a beautiful Biedermeier chest in there. I had the piece, and you know, sometimes things come from necessity or you have things you want to work with. So I decided to make the bathroom completely modern and why not just put this beautiful Biedermeier secretary in there. The other bathroom and dressing room off the master, there's the double vanity. You'll notice there's Roburn cabinets set into a mirrored wall. Roburn cabinets are great because they have plugins for your toothbrush and all that sort of thing. The second part of the bathroom is behind this frosted door. It's the large shower with a bench and then there's a toilet in there as well. And then we made the best of the space. There was two closets which we opened into one and it gives us ample storage. I continued the floor from the bathroom into the dressing room in stone. It makes the closet feel bigger and it's sort of all one space. Instead of a whole bunch of little spaces, I think it's nice that it just sort of reads as one. The master is really a tranquil room. Because we're on the ground floor, I use the California shutter split with the part at the top so you can keep the light coming in but have privacy below. So we have everything here, not on a big scale, but on a quality scale. And I believe that, you know, I'd always rather have more quality than quantity. And so it's our great Montreal Pied-à-Terre, which I think houses our artwork well, has accepted antiques and collections very well, but also creates a wonderful space for us to live invite friends over and enjoy.